Hello, YouTube. You know what this is? You got it. It's a CGC unboxing. Stay tuned. Okay, guys. There are three books in this box. And I know the books, but I do not know the grades. The three books are Silver Surfer number three, which is the first appearance of Mephisto. That's a very popular book that people seem to like. Then there is two other books. The other books are Iron Man and Submariner number one, and then Fantastic for number 67, the first appearance of Adam Warlock, I believe it is. If I'm wrong, let me know. Now, the importance of the three books in this box are, number one, I predicted a grade for, uh, for actual Silver Surfer number three. I also performed deacidification baths for both Iron Man Submariner number one, and also Fantastic Four number 67. They, they are the first books that I performed a deacidification bath for back in April. And now we finally get to see what label they will be designated by CGC. So the question is, do taking the books apart soaking the covers with calcium hydroxide and methyl cellulose, pressing, reassembling the books. What will CGC do? It's in this box. Before we check it out, I wanna show you a little upload, very quick montage. Let's go back down memory lane. I wanna predict what this book is going to be graded as by uh, graded at by CGC, and I'm thinking it's going to be a two to a two point five oxide and a few other ingredients, and I think it came out awesome. As you can see, the white in the book now is a lot whiter versus the tanning that the book had prior to me doing the actual treatment. Okay, YouTube, I soaked the cover actually three times with three different solutions that I made up fresh. Okay, guys, I'm sure, or I hope you enjoyed that. I'm not looking at the labels. Now, I hope you enjoyed that little montage. When I look at it sometimes, especially with the Fantastic Four and the Iron Man Submariner, I cringe when I see what I used to do uh, because 
I didn't even use Reme paper when I worked on those books. So I basically improved my abilities substantially since then. I just want to make sure I have the front. If not, we will take a look and I'll flip it around. So I did look at the back of the cover. I don't know which book is in order here. So we're going to do our one, two, three. We're going to knock down the cardboard and we're going to see what grade I was given and what label more importantly. I don't know because the deacidification and soaking the actual covers should trigger a conserved grade, maybe a restored grade, but I don't know if they are able to detect it CGC. So without further ado, let's see. One, two, three. Let's see what the first book is and what grade I received. Dun, dun, da. Okay. So let's get rid of the invoice. So what do we got? We got Silver Surfer, number three. As you saw in the previous little montage, I predicted a point, a 2.0 or a 2.5. So what did I get? A 2.0. So that's pretty good. I was pretty spot on with my prediction and I'm happy about that. We'll look at the book closer when I look at the other books first. So I don't know what the next one's going to be. I'm going to remove it quickly. One, two, three. Bum, bum, bum. Iron Man Submariner. 2.5 universal label. So this answers the question. And the question is, I received a universal label. So I guess a bath with calcium hydroxide and methyl cellulose is something that I can do and it will not be detected by CGC or at least with this book. Now, if you recall correctly, this book was extremely tan. So I'm happy I received the universal grade. This book was completely disassembled. I'm sure I'm gonna get a lot of comments from people saying that they don't like what I did and this shouldn't be the proper grade but or the proper label but what are you gonna do are you ready the next book is the Fantastic Four let's see what I got bum, bum, bum. again a universal grade so this book again was completely disassembled and I soaked the cover, and as you saw in that little quick montage, you saw what I did. This book I learned a lot on because when I did the cleaning on this book and soaking the cover, I didn't use Reme paper. And as you can see, there, are, there are happened to be some color lifting, and I know I did that. And watching the videos, of me working on this book, I saw exactly where I did it because what I did was I brushed the actual cover, the wet cover of a book with my brush without Reme paper. That is something that I learned is a big no-no. I would not do that anymore. So here you go. Tape on interior cover and cream to off-white pages. Stan Lee's story, Jack Kirby and Joe's. Simon so cover in art, and it says origin and first appearance of him. So there you go. Is this a nice book to have at a 2.5? I guess. I'm happy to have it. So that's the first one, universal grade. Let's take a quick look at Iron Man number one. Iron Man and Submariner number one quick little view of this book. This book was completely disassembled, cover cleaned, and it looks pretty good. 2.5 and predates both Iron Man and Submariner. Number one, tape on interior cover. Okay, I can deal with that. Is this a nice book to have? Why not? I think it is. To be honest, I think what I'm gonna do 
is I'm gonna put this Fantastic Four, the Iron Man, Submariner number one, and the Silver Surfer number three. In addition, when I get the Hulk 181 back, if I get a conserved grade, I'm gonna put them all up for trade, a lot of them, the four books, and I'm gonna see what I can trade. So this one is another key book to have. I only cleaned and pressed this book, and I did receive a 2.0. This I found at an estate sale. So that's it, everyone. I hope you enjoyed the upload. I'm very happy that I received universal grades. And now we have an answer. So when people ask me, do, does my deacidification bath trigger a conserved or restored grade? I can answer, no, it gets a universal grade. So thank you for stopping by and stay tuned.